What's up, you guys? It's Blitzwing Prime here, and today, welcome back to my new video. It's a showcase video of basically my collection video of Transformers Rise of the Beast. I'm gonna show you guys basically what I got and the recent figures that I got and some pretty awesome figures that I'm looking forward to get basically. This is part one of part two. But yeah, guys, here it is. I'm so excited to show you guys and I've been enjoying them for a long time. It's been a, quite a journey collecting every single one of these. Majority, some of these, I've already got them from online and basically some of them are really hard to find. Like basically this Prime, you can't even find him either. Or even in Scourge, I have never seen Battle Trap or have never seen Eraser. There's a lot of things we gotta talk about in this video. The, the, the bad figures and the good figures. And basically what I recommend for you guys, if you guys are looking forward for these figures. Also, I'm skipping on basically the Voyager class, Mainline, Prime, and Primal. I'm not getting them because I'm getting the Studio Series. Plus, I skipped on that, basically Mainline Prime, just to get this guy. We're gonna talk about, like, a group by group, the Terracon Autobots, Maximals. So here it is, the Maximals that I have acquired, and they look pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And basically, here is the ones that I got. There's a lot of replicas, which is basically, is the same character, which is basically the mainline Cheetor and the mainline, uh, not the mainline, the Studio Series Cheetor. Also, the Studio Series Air Razor and the mainline Air Razor. They all look really good. Here is basically the mainline Rhinox. And basically, I'm actually really excited to get that Studio Series Rhinox, really hunting for it. I've been enjoying them for a long time since the movie came out. But I actually really do like the Studio Series Cheetor, but also the Mainline Cheetor. Like, the Mainline Cheetor looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, I really enjoy it. Also, the Mainline Air Razor. I prefer the Mainline Air Razor, to be honest. But also, the Studio Series, if I want the accuracy. I'm really hoping we could see a concept art of her as a robot mode, because I don't know where they got inspired from these, basically, Air Razor robot modes. But we shall see what happens in the future. I'm really looking forward to that. And the Battle Masters really have some significant touchings because basically the battle masters connecting with the color scheme of the main line because basically when you look at this it, it really does fit well with Cheetor. I really enjoy these battle masters as well. I'm really excited for Primal so hopefully we can get them really soon. Now here is the Terracons and I really really basically enjoyed most of them basically they were all really awesome in the movie I really enjoy Scourge in the movie. Everybody really likes Scourge, basically, but I really dig this leader class Scourge. Also, Voyager, Battle Trap, but hopefully we could get basically the Studio Series, Deluxe Class Nightbird. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I have, for the most part, I actually got my hands on Scorponok. I really enjoy it, but I really don't have any connection with the robot mode. I don't like the robot mode, so I might as well just keep him as a Scorpion mode because the Scorpion mode is much more movie accurate since he never transforms. And um, yeah, he comes with uh, with uh, basically a little Scorponok. Also Freezer, can't wait to get his other twin. This is all that I have for the Terracons and they look pretty awesome. Here is the Autobots, and I basically really enjoy them as well, like basically all of my uh, Rise of the Beast figures. But the most touchy thing is that this Prime looks so better compared to the 38 Optimus Prime. And what you could do with 38 Optimus Prime with this guy is that you could use the gun mode, the gun that he has, and basically place it on the Rise of the Beast Prime. And I really gonna store him like this. I'm gonna keep this gun with him at all times because I really don't like his little, his arm gun because I'm really gonna get the upgrade for sure. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna store him like this. Really looking forward to the upcoming Mirage. And that Mirage looks so far better than the mainline Mirage. I really can't wait for the official licensing of the of the Studio Series one. I thought the Wheeljack, when I first got him before the movie, I thought of it like basically I wouldn't like this Wheeljack in the upcoming movie. But um, not to think of it, this figure looks really good. I really enjoy owning this guy. And he's not that bad. He's not that bad. I really like the, the first three pack for sure compared to the new one that just came out. And that one, Bumblebee, uh, with Mirage and Air Razor. 
really disappointed he really liked this one compared to this one he actually has some issues technically he has some issues that he doesn't peg really well and his color scheme is like all over the place when he used the vehicle mode so yeah really disappointment and he has these issues really frustrates me so now i'm going for the studio series version so i really recommend that so i just really recommend you guys to really skip on this version I also really enjoy the rc because rc looks pretty awesome and she does actually scale pretty well with the other cast and uh yeah like basically i really wish she was a deluxe class but then again a core class she really does scale the way she's supposed to scale with prime and bumblebee and stuff like that the way we saw in the movie and yeah, I had fun with these guys for sure. I mostly recommend the Studio Series Optimus Prime 100% with this guy. I also really recommend the basically the mainline Mirage because this guy is pretty awesome. I wish he had two weapons, but you know, the Hasbro doesn't want to do that. The Studio Series Bumblebee, but except this guy is pretty much what I really need to tell you guys what I recommend because these guys are perfect. So basically I did find him on Instagram on a, basically on a live stream so be sure to follow me out of my Blitz Wing Prime. So yeah, here is the full on cast of the Autobots. So here it is guys, the Transformers Rise to the Beast, my full on collection except that Bumblebee which is already there. And yeah guys, all of these are worth to get. What a journey guys, what a journey. And now I have 20 Transformers Rise of the Beast figures and more coming soon. So anyway guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned on my next video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys start. So if you don't know, now you know. Hope you guys have a nice day for the Decepticons and Autobots. And see you guys in my next video. Peace out, you guys. And roll out.